guys welcome to my channel or back to my channel my name is Megan and I am a mother to a 16 month almost 17 month little boy named Lincoln and I'm currently 38 weeks and three or four days pregnant with my little girl um, we are scheduled for a, a c-section on May 1st which is literally only like four or five days away but today as you can tell by the title of this video I have some activities that you can do with your children to keep them entertained especially right now we are in this whole quarantine situation because of the old C word C virus thing and these things, a lot of the stuff you can do around your house, you can, uh, without having to go anywhere to get these things. Some of these options are things that you, if you do, don't have them at your house, you can go get them. Um, I don't necessarily advise you to go out anywhere. Maybe if you could do like a Target pickup run or a Walmart um, pickup, something like that um, would be a lot better than you actually going into the store. But these are 15 fun, cheap, or free, some messy <laughs> activities that you can do with your children around the house. So if you are interested in that, just keep watching. Okay, option number one, my son loves bath time. He loves being in the water. He loves playing with water. He loves water, just loves it. My advice to you would be, and this is something that you can do without really having to go anywhere. If you have like some cups that you can put in water, some squeezable bath toys, like the little balls, put those in like a tub of water. Yes, it's gonna be messy, so maybe outdoors thing. I don't know exactly where you live. I live here in Ohio and right now in April, some days are nice, some days are gloomy, some days are cold still. So. This is something that we like to do outside, just get him a tub of water, let him play with some toys, put some bubbles in it. He loves it. I do this at bath time every night. When I run him his bath, I put him with his essential oils in there, his bath salts, and just relax him, let him play, get that last little bit of energy out for the day, and he goes right to sleep every time. Option number two. This kind of goes along with the last thing, but bubbles. Letting your child bl blow bubbles. Now, Lincoln right now, he gets the concept of the wand and he puts it in the bubble thing. But when he blows, he doesn't necessarily blow onto the wand every time. So you will have to show them how to do it, of course, but they love it. He loves to catch the bubbles. Um, this is definitely something I would much prefer to do outside because it can get messy. But a thing of bubbles, I mean, I can get the big things of bubbles for like two, three bucks at the dollar store and he loves them. Another thing you can do, um, I have seen them at Target and Walmart, they're bubble guns. That way you have less that you have to do. You just put some bubbles in the little container, screw it up in the gun, and show them where the button is, and they can blow all the bubbles they want until them bubbles run out. Option number three. Lincoln loves to play pretend. Um, he feeds our dog fake food. <laughs> he feeds us fake food. He loves to play with, like, pretend things. Like, he will imagine food and try to feed it to our dog. He also, at, um, when I was working, he went to our babysitters and she had, you know, four or three kids and they had a play kitchen and he would love to play with the fake food and stuff like that. That is something that you can, and it doesn't necessarily have to be food. Like you can play um, like imagination things with them. Just let their mind explore. At this age, they are learning so much, so much. So if you are there explaining to them and showing them how to explore their imagination, they're gonna love it. Option number four, laundry baskets. Putting things in laundry baskets, boxes, 
Um, you can use an old cardboard box if you have one like from Amazon and right now I would disinfect it and let it sit for a couple days before you let your child play with it because of the whole virus thing. But if you do not have something like that, you can use a laundry basket. Um, but get like balls to put in there like use that as like a basket to shoot balls into practice overhand play or overhand throwing that's hand-eye coordination ways for them to learn option number five Lincoln absolutely loves to play I call it his disappearing act he will bring me a blanket like one of his little small blankets and I will put it over his head and go, Lincoln, Lincoln, where are you? He loves to do that, playing hide and seek with them, taking turns. That shows them, you know, sharing, taking turns. You hide, I will seek you, and then I will hide, you seek me. Things like that, they love to play at this age. Like I said before, they are learning so much at this age. And this is also a way to show them, even like, I started this probably around, I don't know, probably when he was probably three or four months old, I would do like the whole peekaboo thing, you know? And that shows them that, you know, mommy's gonna be gone for one second, but she's gonna be right back. You know, that shows them that you can disappear and come right back. You can leave and come right back. Things don't just disappear because when they're really little, like in the three to three, two, three, six months, you know, they actually think that once something drops in their mind, it's gone. But you have to show them that you can get it back. You can pick that item back up. Now he likes to play, you know, he thinks that if you can't see him, or if he can't see you, you can't see him. And that's not, you gotta show him that that's not the thing. So he absolutely loves to play the disappearing act, as I like to call it. Option number six, which is, this is something that if you have a stroller or even at this age, they should be walking by now or might be walking by now. Um, go on a walk. Right now we can't really go to parks or anything, but you can walk around town. Lincoln loves to get his stroller and we just push him around town and he just loves watching the cars and you can like show him colors like look at that blue car bubba look at that purple car sissy or whatever if you have a boy or a girl they love to explore the world like i said many times before in this video their minds are absorbing everything at this age option number seven which this could be something done that you can do with any of these things but doing like singing children love to sing at this age lincoln loves to sing he will listen to baby shark and bingo and all of that old mcdonald and he will sing along with them yes he doesn't know how to necessarily pronounce every single word but it's a way for them to get into that memory of remembering things and they love it. Like I said, their brains are like sponges right now and they are absorbing everything. Option number eight is art. Lincoln and every child that I know at this age and even older than this like to draw on things. So what I do is I like to get these. They are mess free marker kits. It's a marker that literally only colors on this kind of paper. It will not draw or color on anything else. And it's amazing for them to learn at this age. That way, if they do write on something, it doesn't show. It only shows on this paper. But we picked this up at TJ Maxx for $3.99. And Lincoln loves this thing. He will color in it. And sometimes I do let him write with like pens and stuff and pencils, but I do sit right there with him. It's an activity that we can do together. And he loves it. It, it keeps him occupied and it passes time. Option number nine. Now this is something that if you do not have at your house, um, you don't really necessarily have to do the bounce house part of it. You can probably just take 
a bunch of these balls outside. But I picked up this thing of balls for, I think, $12 at Walmart. And then uh, this was for Lincoln's birthday, for his first birthday. We got that and a $70 bounce house that fits like probably, I don't know, three, four kids. And um, it's one, once you blow it up, you just turn the knob, it keeps the air in it. You don't have to keep pumping the electric and all of that. So it saves on money there. But he loves to have all those balls put in it and then go in the bounce house and bounce around and throw the balls around. And um, it's something that keeps them occupied. Yes, it's something that if you do not have a bigger house, you will have to do outdoors but it is fun for them. They love it. They get the exercise that wears them out and they sleep wonderfully at nighttime. Option number 10, playing the what's that game. You can point at clothes, any object that you see, dogs, cats, even when you're going on walks or just in the backyard, even in the house, you can play this game. And that teaches them what that stuff is and if eventually they memorize it. Also, another thing that my son is really into right now is naming his facial features, his eyes, his nose, his mouth, his teeth, his tongue, his ears, his hair, his hands even, his feet, his belly, all of that stuff. And at first, it only took us, you know, a couple days of doing this during diaper changes and stuff just to keep them occupied. And he knows his nose, his eyes, his mouth, his teeth, his ears, his hair. He knows all that stuff now. And he loves to just walk up to you and go nose, 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 eyes. He loves to do stuff like that. And it turns into an educational game for them. Option number 11. Now this is something for fine motor skills. If you can find bowls that have lids on them or something that has like hinges that lift up, you can teach them cause and effect. You can teach them fine motor skills, show them how to open this stuff up, fill it with like dry oatmeal and let them dump it out. That's cause and effect. If I dump this over, something's gonna fall out of it. And it also teaches them hand-eye coordination with their hands, learning how to do things, open things with their hands. At this age, they need to be doing things like that just to learn how to do stuff like that in the future. Option number 12, this is something that kind of goes with the whole hand-eye coordination, puzzles, putting things together, trying to map it out in their brain and also in front of them. This is another thing that is educational and you can make your own puzzles at home. You don't have to go to the store to buy a puzzle. You can just draw any type of picture, cut out some little designs in it and there you go. You have a homemade puzzle. Yes, it's not going to be as durable as the ones at the store, but let's be real nowadays, even the puzzles at the store, unless they're made of wood, are not very durable. 13. Using red solo cups and like a little ball hide an object or even any type of thing. It can be a little car, a little ball, anything. Hiding the objects objects, and moving them around and trying to get your toddler to find that object. It helps them to keep their eye on the correct one that is in it or the correct cup that has the object in it and trying to find it. Option number 14. My son absolutely loves to help me clean. He loves to wipe the tables down. He loves to help me do laundry. He loves to help me sweep and mop. So his grandma went and purchased him a Melissa and Doug cleaning kit. Um, I do believe she said this was $25. The mop is actually in the living room and I did not feel like going and grabbing it. But it comes with a dustpan, a broom, a little duster comes with a squeegee bottle and or a spray bottle sorry I was looking at the squeegee it comes with a spray bottle and also a squeegee and I feel like there was something else oh and the mop and what's nice about it is it all hangs on this little it all hangs on this little compartment thing right here 
and I will tell him, go get your cleaning supplies and we're about to clean up the living room or we're about to clean up the kitchen and help me pick up your toys and he actually will help me pick up his toys. Yes, sometimes he does get distracted and start to bring them out but you just have to tell them like, no baby, we are picking up our toys right now. We're going to clean up the living room or we're gonna clean up your playroom, your bedroom, whatever. Now, option number 15, and I left this for last because this is something that I do mostly at nighttime is when I started it, but now even in the mornings when I get him dressed, I also do the same thing. I will lay out like four outfits and tell him to pick me out which jammy set would you like to use for t uh, after your bath tonight. And he will actually point at what jammy set he wants. Now, um, you can also start by picking out, like in the mornings, you can say, lay out four shirts, say, what shirt do you want? Or you can lay out short, blah, blah, shirts and pants or shorts, whatever uh, the weather is at that time in your area. Say, pick me out one shirt and one pair of pants and you know help them match them and that shows them how to get themselves dressed and how to look presentable and not be wearing crazy looking things and it gives them the option to explore their own sense of style and let them decide on what they want to wear it makes them feel like big kids and you know that's what we do every morning we get ourselves dressed they can get themselves dressed at this age. Yes, you will have to show them how to put things on. Like Lincoln, he can put his shirt on. He can put his jacket on. Um, he does need assistance with putting his shirt on sometimes and taking it off and along with his pants. But he can do his socks. He can definitely take his socks off. He's been able to do that since he was very little. But um, yeah, that is all of the 15 activities that I have for you guys. A lot of them, like I said, are messy. Some of them are free that you can do around the house. Some of them you do have to go and do a pickup order on or go to the store if you feel risky enough to do that. And um, But most importantly, they are fun for you and they are fun for your toddler and it gives you a time to bond with your toddler, play with your toddler, especially now we're all home stuck in the house and it's something fun to do as a family. I mean, I don't know. I love playing with my kids. It's hard for me right now being this pregnant to get around, to be able to breathe <laughs> and to pick him up. Every time I pick him up, I start getting contractions. So it's a little harder for me to get, to around, get around right now. But thank God my husband is home and he is able to play with our toddler. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it and want to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel. We love you and we will see you in our next one. Bye.